All right, so this is a little update to my earlier McTube video. I never really finished this project um, officially. I built it in 2004, and I just kind of did some, like, paint pen graphics on it. And I don't know that this is permanent graphics either. I just got a label maker and stuck these things on here. But um, kind of precipitated this whole change was I found out that I had the drive and level controls reversed and uh, so I had all these paint pen markings that were wrong and I decided I'll just take all that off and redo it and uh, it is a heck of a lot easier to do that than to try to redo the inside and then I, I painted the uh, the enclosure like uh, this gloss black paint and uh, I found that the B plus voltage was too low when I actually ve measured stuff in here. Um, I found that the B plus was only like 13, I'm sorry, 113 volts instead of 150. So I had to sit down and put on my thinking hat a little bit. And um, I discovered that I guess because these... Transformers are probably a bit lossy. They're not, you know, probably not super efficient transforming. It's these little Radio Shack 12.6, 350 milliamp transformers. With, with the way the schematic is, the original schematic, the, the, the um, filament voltage comes off here and it goes to the rectifier and then to these... Uh, caps here and then it goes to the tube heaters and then the output here which is actually like the the primary of the second transformer is supposed to be putting on 150 volts but apparently i guess these transformers aren't that efficient and the uh voltage that was coming out there was only like 113 volts after being rectified so what I decided to do is just take a uh, the same kind of transformer and have a separate one just to do the tube filaments. And that works out really well because now I'm getting about 152 volts after rectification and filtering on the plate of the 12AX7. And I'm getting like right around 6.3 volts for the tube heaters. That worked out really nice. So... It just involved me having to move the original two a little farther back into the enclosure. And then I added this third transformer just to do the filaments. As you can see, I've got my rectifier diodes here and here now. And uh, it's not terribly close to the signal path wiring, but... Um, it's close enough to where I felt like I had to consider putting in some kind of shield to shield the the uh, signal path from this transformer. It's kind of close. So I added that in there. And um, I redid this wiring a little bit. I wasn't totally happy with the wiring off the bypass switch. And you can see here the... The two controls, I mean, it would have been a real pain in the butt to, you know, take this one and move it there and take that one and move it there. It would have been a major pain in the behind. So I just opted to take the original silver paint pen off of here and, uh, you know, just do this with the label machine. I don't, I don't know, I may just keep it this way. I, I think it's kind of cool. I tried to make it look cool anyways. <laughs> so, now, I'm going to consider this project officially done. Um, with the higher voltage, it sounds a heck of a lot better. 
it it's got more clean headroom and it um, just sounds better all around so um, that's pretty much all there is to say about what I've done oh yeah the other thing <laughs> The other thing, I, I have this fan in here that I intended on using this little small Radio Shack fan. It's like, uh, what is it, 0. 0.13 amps or something like that? Yeah, 130 milliamps. So I tried to connect the fan to the 6.3 volt over here and you know, knock the voltage down so it's just kind of running slow. But the problem is it knocks the filament voltage down to about 5.7 volts, which is just a little low. I mean, I, I think, as I understand it, that would affect the, the uh, life of the tube because the emission is going to be low in there. So, I don't know. I could run it off there. I mean, if the tube dies earlier, it's it's only like, 10 bucks to get a new preamp tube unless you like I'm using an NOS tube or something but uh, yeah so I, I just decided well I'm gonna keep the fan off out of the circuit um, you know I've got I've got ventilation holes on both sides and um, I got a couple holes in the bottom that allow air to come in from below so I think you know when it's running, there'll be a little convection current going on in there, and it'll, it'll ventilate itself just fine. It's not like it gets super hot in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself for getting this little this little shield in here. It was, uh, it was a bit of a trick to get it in there. I mean, it's, it's tight. <laughs> this is just the bottom off of the old plastic radio shack enclosure. Um, something like this audio probe enclosure it's basically the metal bottom off this these came both of the plastic and metal bottom aluminum bottom and uh, so I just repurposed that and uh, used it as a shield and bent it so that there's no way that this can touch the uh, 150 volts coming out of here and uh, I got just enough clearance to pull the tube socket off. Well, not the tube socket, the tube shield comes right off. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it now. This works really great with my, my headphone setup that I've got going on in the mornings. It really warms up the sound. So it's not just straight old solid state. It's kind of got that warm tube sound to it now and the, the cleans are really nice really not really pleasant to to use this so i'm happy i revisited this project because i built it in 2004 and <laughs> it just kind of sat and i never used it so it's kind of uh it's kind of a gem of a circuit when it's working really nice you know and incidentally in case you're wondering what size this enclosure is it's a six by six enclosure, which was given to me. It was actually used in something else. You can see there's like these holes in the front of it. I don't know what, what the heck was in here before, but someone had given it to me and I, I cut it down. I think it was, I think it was like a six by six by six cube or something when I got it and I chopped it down, repurposed it. So I kind of, I, kind of get off on repurposing things I just <laughs> I just think it's sad when you know you have to use something and and then you you, you change or you, you know you decommission it and then now it's like a piece of junk well you know not for me I'm always trying to go how can I reuse this thing so um, yep pretty happy with it so that's, uh, I think, going to conclude my McTube build here. Um, as I said in the previous video, you know, if you're thinking about building a tube circuit, this is one you really ought to consider. Um, you know, 
it's it's really a great little circuit so 